The second section in chapter 4 talks about the categories of test design techniques. We have three major categories of test design, okay? But let's first say what is the goal or the purpose of the test design techniques. The goal of test design techniques is to identify the test conditions, test cases, and the test data associated with them. We have three major categories, black box techniques, white box techniques, and experience-based techniques. First, black box techniques, which is also called specification-based techniques. We divide some input to our system and we don't know what happened inside it, okay? We just wait for the output to come out from the system. If the output is like the expected output, that means that our test case is passed. If it is different, that means that there are bugs in the software. So we don't use any information regarding the internal structure of the system under test. On the other hand, white box testing or structure based techniques are based on the analysis of the structure of the component or system. So like the picture in the previous slide, you see that in white box techniques, we give input to the system and we look at the code how it performs inside the system until it reaches the output. The third technique, like we said, is experience-based techniques. And I want to mention something here that we have problems and examples on black box and white box techniques, which we will solve together in the next videos. But experience-based techniques don't have any examples on them. We will just say their names, okay? The idea about experience-based techniques is that the tester begins testing based on his experience, not on formal ways, okay? We consider black and white box techniques as formal techniques, but experience-based is considered as informal techniques. 